Hi everybody, it's Miss Becky from Miss Becky's Musical Stories. And today we are going to read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Eric Carle is the author and the illustrator, which means he also drew or painted the pictures. Eric Carle has done a lot of books and you probably know The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So this is our front cover. This is our back cover. And this is the title page, which has the title, the, Gr the Grouchy Ladybug and the author, Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up a friendly ladybug flew on from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug. Sweetly, it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It huffed itself up and flew off. And these are the speech lip bubbles. And she's saying, good morning. And he's saying, go away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing it's Stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with his long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, <coughs> it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. What do you think she says? Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew 
off. Notice he keeps saying that over and over. It's a pattern. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Notice the animals are getting bigger. So in the beginning, we had a bee, and then a stag beetle, and they kept getting bigger and bigger. But the grouchy ladybug is not big, and he keeps telling them that they're not big enough. That's kind of funny. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, <laughs> laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, what does he say? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. That gorilla looks pretty big to me. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew off. Look how big this whale is. It doesn't even fit on the page. Because it's on the page before. And now it's on the page after. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. I wonder where it's going. At six o'clock, 
the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it started from. Ah, there you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. So she, he sang, thank you. And she sang, you're welcome. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs. And they were went to sleep. The fireflies who'd been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end.